about this fourth, third place game? Well, we fought hard. It was one of the first times we came out on top at the beginning. We started off strong, which usually we fall behind 4-1, 5-1. So this time we came out 2-1, which is really, I think was a really good thing for our team. I mean, yes, we ended up losing in the end, but I think these games were good for our girls because a lot of girls played and we got a lot of experience. We have a young team, so hopefully the girls will learn from this game and this experience. So as a senior, you saw some bright spots with your team here? Yeah, I mean, the younger girls, it's pressure they've never had to feel, they've never felt before, so hopefully next year, the year after, they're just going to be super composed, and then they'll be able to teach the younger girls how to, they got to play in a big game at the end of the NCAA, so I think that's a big deal. Uh, Flora, your goalie is a freshman, uh, talk about her performance today. She did amazing, she stopped a 5 meter against probably one of the best shooters in NCAA right now, so... I mean, that gave a huge momentum to our team, and unfortunately that wasn't enough, but she played a great, she had a great tournament this time. I know just, uh, you're just a few moments out of the game, but uh, can you look back a little bit on your, your time here at USC and what it's been like for you? I mean, my first year here, we got second. Last year we won, and then this year we came fourth. We've had ups and downs. I mean, our coaching staff is amazing. The girls are amazing. I've had a blast. I've learned so much. And, I just hope whatever I've learned and tried to pass on to younger girls that they're going to continue passing on. I mean, this is one of the most intelligent water polo schools and coaching staff that I've ever been able to play under. So it's been an amazing experience. All right. Thanks, Joel.